Well, tonight the FBI tells WBTV it has its hands on a graphic video that her family says could help find answers. Our Brandon Hamilton is live outside the FBI headquarters in Charlotte tonight. So Brandon, what do you have? Well, Molly, that video you mentioned has now gone viral on social media. In fact, the feds have also told me they have their hands on that same exact video, which is why tonight we are, are outside the FBI. Now, Shaquilla Robinson's family tells me that video is key to proving she did not die from alcohol poisoning, which is what they were originally told. But I do want to warn you tonight again, Shaquilla's family wants you and investigators to see this video. It is very graphic. Nearly two and a half weeks since Shanquilla Robinson's death, her family still doesn't know what happened to her. We're not gonna stop until this is, we get to the end of it. get to the bottom of it. We're gonna get to the end of this. No, it's not gonna happen here. No, I've been crying, you know, I'm hurt. I'm hurting all the way around. Last Friday night, Bernard and Salamandra Robinson sat down to talk with me one on one. They said they believe their daughter's death was a result of foul play, but how and why? Five days after that interview, we now know this viral video on social media could lead to an answer. That's at least what the Robinsons are hoping. It is graphic and shows an apparent fight. We blurred some parts because right now we want to be clear. No one has been charged with any crime, but Shanquilla's parents say it is her in the video. And the FBI in Charlotte tells WBTV the video has their attention. Quote, the video was referred to the FBI and we encourage anyone with related photos or video to contact the FBI. Shanquilla's family also provides this a copy of her death certificate. They say this document shows foul play. Severe spinal cord injury was one of the causes of death listed. It's in God's hands and God gonna give her justice. God gonna give me justice. I'm a praying man. I serve the Lord. And Molly, I do want to reiterate that video again that you just saw is the new information tonight that the FBI has their hands on it. Now, as far as information in general, it has been hard to get an answer. I did reach out to the Mexican consulate multiple times today. And finally, late tonight, I was told to contact the embassy. Right now, they are closed, so I will be reaching out again tomorrow. Again, those answers that Shanquilla Robinson's family is looking for, we are asking again.